What is happening? Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 27th episode of the show Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 232nd episode overall titled One Last Hope. We open to see the Phantom Ranger showing up once more in front of the distressed Rangers. Phantom Ranger promises one last hope because this episode is already that on the nose. He leaves telling them they have to wait. Then bitch don't show up. Meanwhile, Havoc is telling Elgar how he's been using the Turbo Megazord to enhance the Metallosaurus thanks to Porto working around the clock. Porto then shows up, giving Havoc a document to explain that there's some secret about the Phantom Ranger. He has a life source in his power ruby, the red jewel on his chest. They decide they have to get it and kill him. Havoc then shows a neutron laser to Divatox, one that they will use to defend themselves in result of an attack. Havoc says he has to wait for his army to be ready before he attacks again, and then Divatox accidentally fires the neutron laser and it bounces all over the place. In the power chamber, the rangers are explaining how much life sucks to Alpha and Demetria, and Alpha talks about how there's currently no sign of Divatox, so like, chill out. They also need Phantom Ranger to just talk to them at this point, and Demetria says that they have to keep their courage up or whatever. They say they have to fight with what they've got, and Alpha says, here's your chance, and we never see what he's referring to, so shifting to Turbo. Meanwhile, the monster tours are still happening, and Bulk and Skull mention Mechanizer from Zeo. Then the crowd demand a monster or a ranger, and Stone gets in front of the crowd explaining that it's a misprint, but then TJ and Lightning Cruiser actually goes overhead. Then they decide they're just going to go to the top of the skyscraper that they're near, and they'll let the people take photos. Bulk and Skull leave for food. Then we see that Havoc is in Metallosaurus, and Homeboy straight up has a terrible map of Angel Grove, and he decides to attack downtown. TJ and Ashley are flying around together and they decide to check out downtown. Smash cut to people screaming and running away and debris and fire. TJ then says, something's sure going on. They see Metallosaurus and Havoc, and apparently he's blocking their tracking system so they just have to follow him the old fashioned way, they say, before they start firing at him. The others are on the way. Also Stone is trying to tell people to calm down, but then he looks out and sees Metallosaurus freaking out. Divatox then fires a neutron laser from space, hitting Lightning Cruiser, making them lose control. TJ then just voice commands it back to a car, and he lands just fine. That was dumb. He and Ashley get out. Then the others show up in Storm Blaster, and they regroup together. They call out the Turbine Laser. Yeah, that's gonna do a lot, guys. They fire, and yeah, it does pretty much nothing, but it does make Metallosaurus fire back at them, probably killing a few people. Then the Perontrons show up, and it's a smoky fight on the ground. This fight goes on for a bit longer than you'd expect, but the choreography is good, so who cares? The Perontrons retreat, and then the Phantom Ranger tells them to follow him. They have to leave, but TJ refuses at first, but then they just blindly trust him. He then makes a hole in the ground, and in a terrible effect, they land underground in tunnels. The Phantom Ranger tells them to follow him, which they eventually do. Then Metallosaurus is walking, causing more debris as they run around underground. They get stuck behind rubble, and Phantom says that their final destination is just behind it, so he calls a laser of some sort firing at it. Couldn't they just go underground like 5 feet to the left instead? Alpha then calls the others, and he finds out that they're under the city. Also, Divatox is celebrating. The rangers call their auto blasters, firing with the Phantom Ranger getting through. Then Alpha has lost track of the rangers, and he's kind of freaking out. More debris falls onto the rangers, and now Alpha 100% can't get in touch with them. From the space base, Elgar is firing the neutron laser, firing at satellites, and Dutox complains how it's not a game, but then there's a gag about her needing a token to operate it. That's not the right tone for this episode. Natalosaurus is still destroying things, and then Alpha is hearing some revving off in the distance. Havoc is confused too, and here comes a giant base, rolling out into the center of the city. Alpha immediately knows that it's the Rangers. In the Central Command, we see Phantom Ranger, who tells the Rangers to deploy their Zords. Star Racer Rescue Zord, Siren Blaster Rescue Zord, Thunder Loader Rescue Zord, Lightning Fire Tamer Rescue Zord, and Wind Rescue Zord. Actually, just kidding, it's the Wind Rescue Rescue Zord. Seriously. Phantom introduces the new Zords and he tells them to go do what they do literally every other time. The Rangers roll out as the base stands up. Bulk and Skull return with their food and they're confused as to where everyone went, and Bulk sees the monster outside the window, and after a beat, they pass out and stuff. The Rangers are going forward in the Zords while Metallosaurus keeps humping this building that Bulk and Skull are inside of. TJ uses his water cannons to fire at Metallosaurus and it somehow pushes him back. Havoc then sees it's TJ pissed off. He fires back at him, pushing TJ back. Then Justin comes forth using a broken road as a ramp before he gets caught in his mouth and swatted away. He then uses the building as a crash ramp and they're all zooming around his feet trying to make Metallosaurus go off balance. Then Carlos just drops rocks on Metallosaurus making him fall. These swords suck. Bulk is finally woken up by Skull and they start going to leave, but Bulk insists on going back for the milkshakes in slow motion. This episode's all over the place. Metallosaurus then fires at the building, knocking Bulk and Skull around. Then here comes Ashley using her tractor mode to catch the top half of the building that Bulk and Skull are in, saving them before she just pawns them off to Carlos to carry. 
Bulk then laments the death of a donut before they realize that their milkshakes are fine. What the hell is happening? Metallosaurus just knocks over the rest of the building, but Ashley catches it, struggling with it a bit as it becomes a tug of war with Havoc. Then Cassie comes around, firing a giant needle into Metallosaurus' ass, making his eyes bug out. What happened to this show in the last episode? TJ then just hits a bomb under Metallosaurus that blows up, sending him so far back into space he actually hits the space base. For some reason, they're really selling this stuff straight. Bulk and Skull are at the youth center, getting ready with all sorts of protective gear, and the rangers are laughing at them for being idiots. Bulk and Skull tell Stone how they need them to follow him into the parking lot. In the space base, Deepatox explains that at least she still has the Turbo Megazord, and her and Havoc want the Phantom Ranger dead. We then see the Phantom Ranger is being pensive, watching the city. Wait, what was in the parking lot? This episode is so all over the place when it comes to tone. I mean, they sold the first part as this incredibly dark, horrible thing that happened to the Rangers, and they resolve it with slapstick comedy. It's very off-putting and just feels like they didn't watch all the footage before they had to start writing that second part. Metallosaurus was a really cool concept that unfortunately wasn't used to its full potential. But I will say, it's nice to see that not every single thing wrapped up in a pretty little bow in the end of the episode, because the Turbo Megazord is still being held captive on the moon, and theoretically, they still need to go back to Earth and get in the hands of good at some point. So how will the storyline continue? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.